If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I use lasers for all sorts of projects. They're incredibly useful when trying to create cool and useful gadgets. Have you ever wondered how a laser actually works? Well, today I'm going to break it down for you. Laser is an acronym for a light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Quite a mouthful. But if you take apart that monster of an acronym, you can learn a lot about how it all actually works. Let's start in the middle with the simulated emission part in order to better understand things. Lasers take a small beam of light, or a photon, and hit an excited electron with it. Excited electrons usually come from batteries or some other energy source. When the beam hits, the photon becomes less excited and produces two beams of light. This will continue exponentially with the two photons hitting two more electrons and becoming four, the four becoming eight, etc. This continues until there are millions of beams, and since they're all identical, they make one strong beam of light. Now let's move on to the beginning, light amplification part. In order for all these reactions to happen, they need help. This can be either a power source, which excites electrons even more, so more photons can pass through, or through a mirror. A mirror can help the beams of light become amplified by bouncing them around back and forth in order to excite more electrons. That's where the amplification part comes in. It helps to make the beam of light extremely strong. All right, lastly, the R for radiation. Radiation simply means that energy travels through a source. So for a laser, this energy travels through space in the form of light. This light can either be visible or invisible to the naked eye, like infrared light. And that's how a laser works to amplify light enough to make a beam and sometimes even burn things. As you can see, they're a pretty powerful tool. Because of this, there are many dangers associated with them as well. A laser beam is brighter than the same amount of area on the sun's surface. No wonder you're not supposed to aim it at people's eyes. Because all the light gets focused through the pupil and right onto the retina, it can very easily injure this sensitive area of the body. Often these injuries are irreversible. So you should be extra careful to never aim any kind of laser near anyone's face so you don't run the risk of hitting them in the eye. Another safety issue you often hear about with lasers is that you should never aim one at an airplane. At first, this seems like a pretty random rule. Lasers are so powerful that their beams are not broken even over very far distances. So, even though you may think your beam won't get all the way up to a plane, it can do this very easily, and it's a crime. The first problem is this can be distracting for pilots. The second problem is the beam gets a lot larger over long distances, and it gets spread out so much pilots can't avoid them. Often, it'll flash in and out as well. This can create temporary blindness and glare that can prevent a pilot from seeing. Definitely not something you want happening while someone is flying a plane. All of this is to say, now that you know how lasers work, you can understand how they can be so dangerous. Be sure to always use good safety when handling lasers to prevent anyone from getting hurt. And that's how lasers work. If you missed any of my other Kip K tips, click the end cards on the screen to check those videos out. More Kip K tips next week. Thanks for watching.